In this Evernote tutorial, I want to take us from the basic setup functions to show you uh, the way I use Evernote to keep track of projects and things I have to remember when I come out of a meeting. So this, of course, is my demo account. And in previous videos, I've showed you how to set up notebooks. And I suggested that you set them up around the key areas of your life. And we showed you how to set up some individual notes. So I'm in the, I'm in the blank folder now uh, for, my, uh, for my consulting work. And as you see, I have no notes here. But let's say uh, you are a new client. And I want to remember everything that you and I talk about, the promises that I make for you, etc. Well, the first thing I want to do, if you're a brand new client, all I want to do is create a new note. And uh, in that, I'm just going to, for now, uh, put your name down as the title. So your name is going to be Bob Smith. And I'll just do it in, uh, in that order. Now, there are a number of templates that you can draw on, but I don't really need a fancy template to do what I'm about to do. So let's say you contact me today and you want to know about the range of services that I provide as a consultant uh, to uh, executives such as yourself. So you and I have this conversation. And at the end of the conversation, I want to remember that we what we talked about. So the first thing I do is put down the date. So for the sake of argument, we're saying that this is uh, January 1st, 2021. Uh, we had uh, an initial uh, telephone call. All right, so now I'm going to just uh, make a little note of uh, some of the things that we talked about. And uh, so that's kind of, you know, that's just fake, uh, fake text. But all right, so there we go. So now I have a note uh, that we made that, uh, we made that initial contact. Well, I also want to record, uh, just so that I have it here, I want to record your phone number. Um, what's your email address? I want to uh, maybe record, uh, do you have an administrative assistant that uh, I could be dealing with? Um, and then maybe you told me uh, about your, uh, your children, your wife, your previous job, whatever else. I'm going to make a note of this at the at the bottom here uh, so that I always have this. Now, I'm going to probably transfer the phone and email um, into my uh, address book. But, you know, not every client becomes a long-lasting client. So for now, this is really all I need. So a few days later, um, you and I exchange an email. And uh, uh, you send me an email and you ask me uh, if I could provide you with some basic information. So uh, uh, I make a note here that says, uh, send Bob the information he requested. Now, you notice that I don't necessarily copy the entire email into, um, into Evernote. But all I want to do is remember a couple of the bullet points that what he wants. Um, so I'm just going to write this down here. Now, typically, if this is something that I can send Bob right away, I'm just going to do it. Uh, I don't like to hang on to things like that. And if these are quick things that I've got or PDFs or whatever, I'm just going to turn around and send it to him right away. But let's say, for example, uh, I'm going to have to put a little work into this. And it's going to take me a little time to think about these areas, which is, you know, quite possible. I'm going to do two things. First of all, I'm going to also list this, and I'm just literally going to cut and paste this into my task manager. Now, I use Nirvana HQ. You might use something different. You might even use paper and pencil to keep track of the tasks that you must do. However you do it, that's great as long as the system works for you. So I'm going to cut and paste this into Nirvana because it is something that I'm going to have to spend a little time on. But I'm also going to do one other thing. I'm going to take advantage of another feature uh, that Evernote has. If you look way at the bottom, you'll see this little bell with a plus sign. And that is to add a reminder. When I click this button, it's going to remind me that I want to work on this tomorrow. So. I'm clicking on this, it will add a reminder, and tomorrow at 9 a.m., I could set this for any time, as you saw, but tomorrow at 9 a.m., it's going to send me a little alert. 
And that's going to be an additional reminder that I promised Bob that I was going to get this information. If for some reason I want to change that reminder, I come back to it, I edit it, uh, and I can either edit it by setting a different date, or I can come in here and I can mark it as done, or I can just flat out remove it. Let's just mark it as done, because I like that feeling when it crosses something off for me. So every time I have a conversation with Bob, I'm going to put a date, and I'm going to put what happened during that conversation. And I've still got all this information down here. And I can, I can, you know, I can make it fancy, and I can certainly uh, bold this, which is probably a good idea, because then this information will jump out at me later on. It's not absolutely necessary. And as I said, there are templates for all sorts of uh, uh, fancy uh, contact management systems and project management systems. But I'll be very honest with you, this system is just plain simple, takes very little maintenance, very little thought, and uh, it helps me a great deal. Now, if, for example, uh, Bob becomes a, a regular client of mine and we have ongoing conversations and ongoing meetings, I may want to I might want to just create a separate notebook for Bob, which I can then put in a stack called Dave Edwards Media. So, but for now, we're having just a quick conversation. Uh, you know, the conversation uh, Bob and I may have may last uh, ongoing or maybe ongoing for a week or a month. So the single note method works very well for me in Evernote. Now, prior to Evernote, I would have a physical file folder for every one of my clients and every one of my projects. I would just jam in copies of all the emails and copies of all my notes into that uh, file folder and put it in the file cabinet. When I'd want to work on it, I could bring it out. But you know what? If I wanted to just think really quickly about something I promised Bob and I didn't have that folder with me, well, I couldn't do it. This way, Evernote is with me all the time. Let me show you one other cool thing about Evernote that I like. You can use your phone to take pictures of documents uh, that you have in front of you that you want to save in Evernote. So if you don't have a scanner, and quite frankly, I have a scanner, and I find this system to actually even be easier, Evernote has its own app called Clipper, and you point it at the document, you take a picture, and you save it directly into Evernote. So I can go back into one of those files that I had for Bob there, and I can just insert that page into the file. Now, some people fantasize about going totally paperless. Well, I'm not 100% paperless because there are some things I like to keep hard copies of, contracts, important documents, and the like. But I will tell you, I have uh, really reduced the amount of paper that I keep by putting it in an electronic format into Evernote. If you go to Evernote's website, they have all sorts of tips and tricks for you into how to do that, and we'll talk about that in later episodes. But I never print an email. I rarely print a document that somebody sends me as a PDF. Everything is in my digital folder in Evernote. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please subscribe, hit the like button. It would mean a lot to me. And if you'd like more tips, tricks to make yourself more productive, to be a better manager and a better leader, visit my website, DaveEdwardsMedia.com.